My name is Josh and I'm with Modus Create. And if you're anything like me, you hate repetitive tasks doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is one of the reasons why I love Jira's dashboards so much. And if you're not familiar, dashboards in Jira are much like your car's dashboard. There are configurable pages where you can set up gauges or gadgets to show high level important information about the performance of your car, or in this case, your team. There are a couple considerations about the board I'm going to be building today. First, I'm going to be using Jira Software Cloud. However, these dashboards are available to all Jira products and in all Jira deployment types. The other consideration is that the dashboard I'm building today is specifically for a Scrum team to show information about the sprint that they are in currently. However, there are so many options, you can really set these dashboards up for anybody. But without further ado, let's jump on in and create our first dashboard. And here we have our Teams in Space Scrum Board. We've got our backlog and the active sprint. For right now, we're going to head over to our dashboards menu and we're gonna select Create Dashboard. For the access option here, we can select a project, a group that we've set up in Jira, or we can select Open, which allows any logged in users to access, or we can keep it private to ourselves. For this dashboard, we're gonna select open. So I'm gonna make sure to click add here to provide access, then click save. So here we have our sprint and space dashboard. To add a gadget, we simply navigate up to the right and click our add gadget button. Do see a lot of options here. And if you're not sure where to look, there's a great search feature here. We're gonna type in sprint. We were gonna select a days remaining in sprint, sprint burndown, and sprint healthy. These gadgets are available to all Jira software users out of the box. So we'll go ahead and add these gadgets. Let's go ahead and close the dialog. And if we look, see that we've got these three gadgets now that need to be configured. We're gonna do a little rearranging. Sprint Health can come down over here and we're gonna move days remaining in Sprint to the top. And I'm gonna select the board. And the board, as we looked at earlier, is called Scrum and Space. And we'll make sure to show the board name and the sprint that we're gonna be doing with is the next sprint due. And it's important to note here that this is a dynamic value that whenever the active sprint changes in the project, this dashboard will change with it. We'll make sure to update every 15 minutes and save. We will use the sprint health gadget, make sure we select the same board. We will show board name, show sprint name, and we'll also show the assignees. We'll make sure to auto refresh and save. This is a very helpful gadget that shows a lot of information about our sprint. So we have our third gadget down here, the sprint burn down, which many people are familiar with. We will select the same board, scrum and space, same sprint, next sprint due, and we'll do every 15 minutes to keep it consistent. And we see our sprint burn down. For my purposes, I'm gonna change the layout. There's a couple of different options to resize the columns or even go with a three column layout. I'm gonna go with this one. It looks nice, but I feel like it needs more. So we're gonna go forward and create some more gadgets. Before we do so, we're actually gonna create what's called a filter. To create a filter for this dashboard, we're gonna go into filters, advanced issue search. So for the search, we're going to select project equals teams. You'll see it auto populates here, teams in space. And sprint, this is where it gets a little complicated. Sprint you may be familiar with. We're going to use the in operator, and we'll see that your auto suggests a couple of different dynamic values. Closed sprints, which sprints that are closed. Future sprints are sprints that have not been started yet, and an open sprints, which is the current active sprint. So now we have the issues that we want and the query that we want, but to save this as a filter, we come up here and click save as. TIS for teams in space and select active sprint. And submit. And now we have our save filter. An important next step is to make sure that anybody who will be viewing the dashboard also has the ability to view this filter. To do that, come up to details and click edit permissions. You select from the options here, we're gonna select open and add. 
Now back to the dashboard. Here we are back at our newly created dashboard. We've got our three sprint specific gadgets showing and we'll go ahead and create a couple more to add some extra information. I'm going to add a pie chart. And this is where we see why we created that filter. The pie chart requires that we base this chart off of a specific filter or project. We're going to use our new filter here because we only want to look at issues within the Teams in Space project that are in the current active sprint. Statistic type of assignee and select update every 15 minutes. We have a nice pretty pie chart to see how the issues in the sprint break down by assignee. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down a little bit. I'm going to create another gadget here. We're going to dive into this one particular gadget, the two dimensional filter to statistics. We're going to add this gadget to the dashboard. We're going to configure it. We're going to select the same active filter. So it's going to be TIS active sprint for the X axis today. We're going to select status. If we scroll down, and for the Y axis, we're going to leave at assignee. We're also going to leave the rest of these options as they are and select update every 15 minutes. What this does is gives us a breakdown of assignee and status for all the issues in this related sprint. To make this a little bit more easy to read, we're going to drag this down below our sprint health gadget. And I think we could probably use one more gadget here, just in case people were looking for more information. We're going to do what's called a filter results. What this gadget does is it lists out all of the issues in the provided filter. So we're going to go ahead and provide the same filter active sprint. The number of results that will show on one page will show 10. And we have options to change what columns are displayed on this gadget. And I'd like to show story points. We're going to update every 15 minutes and save. Again, this is a little cramped over here in the corner. Let's bring this one down. And there we go. We've got all of the issues here by story points. We have issues by assignee and status. We've got the wonderful built in sprint gadgets to show us how many days left, where the issues in the sprint lie by story point, and our sprint burn down gadget, which shows us how they are doing against the timeline of the sprint. And finally, down here, we have our pie chart by assignee so we can help us manage the workload of our team. And there you have it. With a little Jira know-how, in a few minutes, you can create powerful reports and dashboards for your teams in Jira. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. And if your team is looking to use Jira, have been using Jira, but want to know how to get the most out of the application, we at Modus Create have a team of Atlassian experts waiting to answer your questions. Feel free to reach out. Until next time.